Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto Update. Today we're doing altcoins for October and we're also going to review the previous altcoins video which was in August to check out the winning price predictions. We're going to reveal those in today's video. I am the crypto YouTuber that's going to be doing that and we're going to see which cryptos were successful and which ones have failed and how we could have done or performed better with those particular trade setups moving forward for this video. All right, so if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. If you don't find any value from the video, you can always unsubscribe later and spend your sacred time leaving hate comments down below, which you can all have a nice little laugh at. So first up, we're going to look at the majors. We're going to look at the S&P 500, which is what we covered in the first video to give us an idea of the market sentiment. This is something that I cover every morning just to see what the rest of the market is doing. And of course, I'll look at the fear and greed index. So today we're sitting at 27. Yesterday was 21. And uh, earlier in September, so a month ago, I was sitting at around 74. If we stretch it back out to three months, looking back where we did the first video, August 5th, coming out at around 50. So we're in a different market sentiment to what we were before. And we can also see that on the S&P 500. This is where the video was on the 4th. We're currently uh, pretty well down from that point in terms of a percentage, about 2%. But it looks kind of dramatic when you're considering how much the, the traditional markets move. The video in question that we'll review is this one here, top altcoins for August, Bitcoin and crypto comeback. And of course, we did see that from early August into the later part of August, just that little bit of a run up. Bitcoin, this is the video. This is where we currently are now. In terms of a percentage, we are up about 9 or 10% at the moment. And I think we're on the verge of, well, it looks like we're attempting to, to break this downtrend. We had some good volume yesterday. We're trying for that 44 and a half. The next level is 45. And then my special number is 47 and a half. That's what I want to see there. Unfortunately, we got lower lows and lower highs. So we need to start to break to some more higher highs in order for the market to get super bullish again so that we can have these altcoin moves, these big altcoin moves like we saw through August. Bitcoin was moving, altcoins were moving. Now we're now we're all down from that point. The other thing I brought up in that video was the bleed or the the look of a moon boy chart. And that was I used I, I picked on Dogecoin here, huge spike up, and then the market starts to bleed out. And I posted this on Twitter back in July for the bleed out. Sure, we had that little bump and now we're all the way back down plus more. So the market's still bleeding out, but it is bleeding slower, which is a positive sign for holders. But if it does break those support levels at around that 450, then we could probably see quicker moves to the downside. So keep that in mind when we're looking at moon boy type charts that look similar to this. That's what you don't want to see in the altcoin that you're holding, even though it's down. So last video, we looked at R, A triple R on the USD. This is Pirate Chain. It was up uh, by about 40 odd percent. I had a breakout of around four bucks and it really did not push on from that. It got about 20% above that level and then came back. So we could have our stops just underneath or close to the entry point just in case the market came against us. So that would be a breakout trade or you could put a little bit lower, maybe one of the swings or something like that just to get out before losing any more money. Uh, so yeah, this one could have been a small trade, but honestly, I don't think it worked out too well. Harmony One was the best performer out of those cryptos. This is where the video was. This is where it peaked out nearly 200%, about 190, and currently has uh, retreated back to the 50% level, which is fantastic. And it's just up now about 70% from that video. So I'm using that as a reference point. Oh, sorry, 90% from that video. Uh, I'm using that as a reference point because that's the video that we were looking at. This is when people were suggesting Harmony One. I wasn't too confident on it just because of the look of the chart, but you can always be wrong and then find your way into a market when it breaks through previous resistance levels and then come back and test them as support. So you have one opportunity, second opportunity, third opportunity, and then it broke again through the next resistance level. So these, this could be a good area to enter uh, on that trade just for more confirmation. So that was the best one. The other uh, crypto that was on there was Tell. This one didn't work out so well. It got a 70% move, but then it's failed and come all the way back beneath that level. And it is starting to slow down, which is a good sign um, for that market to get some more accumulation on. 
But those peaks are the worst sort of thing where you get big volume on a big up day and then the market reverses the, the next day. That's a very weak sign. So keep a lookout for that in the other cryptos that are being requested. The, the, the good sign here is you've got some volume on these lows. So all you want to look out for, if you're a tell holder or if, you if you're holding a cryptocurrency that looks similar to this, check the chart, look at it and just see where are your support and resistance levels. If the market starts to break down beneath those, it's obviously weak. If it starts to break above these, then it's starting to get a move on, starting to get some strength. So tell was another request from August, didn't work out unless it was a trade that you could have moved up and then actually just sold the exact top. Otherwise, it wasn't a very good uh, suggestion at that point in time. Badger was good. This was something that I suggested on that day there, the fourth. And then we had a move up of about 150%, close to 160. Currently still up, but it has been trending down since that point. It only had a few days up. It just went Hey, a wall moon boy, everything just for a number of days one, two, three, four, five, six, and then that seventh day it reversed. So it really only had about a week in it before it, it turned around and came back down. That's probably good for people who want to trade and make a ton of money in that short period of time. So that turned out not too bad, provided that you sold out as a trade. The other big thing I'm looking at here is the, the big downtrend that's in play here. FTT was another, that's one I've been going on about heaps. You can see we're up again about 130% and we have now come a pretty far way back down, up about 40 odd percent from that video, call it 35-ish percent. And uh, so far it's underneath the old all-time high. So it's not looking the best, but it's still holding these lows, which is the positive. So it's in that iffy position, which can be the better times to be entering. All right. So that trade did okay as well. So the best one overall was one. Badger worked out pretty well. FTT also worked out well. Tell was not so good. It's beneath its levels now. And unfortunately, Pirate Chain was the worst out of those. Now, with all this trading going on, you might want to have a look at Coinly. You can find a link to this in the description down below. This is a cryptocurrency tax software available in 20 countries. Check it out. Links are down below pretty inexpensive to get a lot of your tax reporting done. So this is the tweet from the 30th of September, just a day and a half ago. Ecomi was a top one here, FTT, which we have looked at, and then VRA tends to come up quite a lot as well. So the first is OMI. And I wanted to look at this one because I've talked about it on the channel before. I've interviewed the COO on the channel, who's a great guy as well. Um, this isn't looking too bad. I don't know if it's ready to take off just yet, but at least it's trending around its lows and it's potentially setting up for something. Uh, this bar just a couple of days ago, big volume, and we haven't had that move on yet. So potentially we might get a little bit of a fall down, especially you know, if Bitcoin and the rest of the market's seeming a bit bearish. But this is definitely on my list again. I've got my alerts set to see if we break down underneath this low and hopefully come back on some support. Otherwise, if it's time and it's ready to move above the levels, I'd want to see it break above uh, this 220000 level. So this is found on Uniswap at the moment. If I had to take a big stab at this, I probably think that we're going to go into a little more accumulation, maybe some attempts of a breakout and come back underneath something like, like this here, up and back and maybe an attempt and back down and then just get boring again until people sort of forget about it. But the, the thing I want to see here, which is starting to happen, is you've got a low and then basically a higher low. Although these did spike a little lower, the accumulation area was above this area here. So that's a good sign at the moment. But I just think it might need a bit more time, but it's definitely on my radar. So thanks for the suggestion on Ecomi. And the other one that comes up a lot is VRA. Uh, and this I'm pretty sure came up for August and that was a pretty good run from August. That was, would have been the best one out of all of these, 300% from that level. Now, of course, this is, is has come back and is now resting at the moment on our 50% levels, the major 50% level and the rally 50% level. So as you can see, I've got my alerts underneath these lows in case it begins to break down again. And I would then start to look for support coming in at this previous level of about two cents. 
and uh, just waiting to see whether we get a move on from that point. If we do hold here, then what I would be looking for is the market to obviously hold at these levels and then begin to break above with higher lows and higher highs. It's pretty straightforward every time. You can see it happened here. You got some equal highs, but you had higher lows and then the market broke higher. And we had some highs here, but we had higher lows and then the market broke higher again. So that's what I want to see for this section, something similar to get the move on. But if it doesn't, then maybe we're looking just to come back and rest a little bit more after such a big run. So VRA was looking pretty good. Now, the last one which came up in uh, Twitter was this one, News Crypto. I'm not suggesting these as any sort of buy recommendations at all, but I do bring this up because I see it a lot when there's a lot of shield projects and I don't want people to get burnt, especially with these sorts of things. When you can see the huge volume on these up days and then the market reverses. That to me looks like there was some big news announcement on that particular day or those two days. Someone shielded on YouTube or Twitter or they had some news piece that went out and now it's just fallen flat after that news event. So it's had to come back to regenerate, to recoup where it was going in that direction anyway. Um, so if it starts to break down from this point, then look, here are the next lows. And the next lows, I'd be looking at that five cents and six cents as support. Provided it holds up here, then we look to the higher lows to see if the market can take off. But this was the big one that I wanted to mention. If you see that on charts for a number of basically like one or two days, huge volume and it spikes, that's a, a warning sign for me. Unless we are in a major bull market and everything's going crazy. Personally, I'd stay away from something like that until it begins to recoup and get a bit more of a structure going on like we saw from June through to uh, August. One final ecosystem which I will mention and it's been mentioned a few times in the name of DOT and Kusama. It's come up a little bit. So let's look at DOT and we are starting to hold some lows and get higher lows. We are going into a wedge pattern which is a little annoying to see what's going on. But if we hold patience and we start to break through those levels of about $33, which were the previous highs, this looks like it has the legs to go on because it is holding up over its 50% levels. Obviously, if it breaks down from that $25 and holds under there, comes back and tests, it's possibly going to go a little lower. But at the moment, it seems like a lot of the energy and the market sentiment is moving towards DOT and the Kasama ecosystem. And people are saying, why aren't you talking about it? It deserves your attention. All of those traditional crypto slang lines that you hear thrown around everywhere. Let's look at Kasama and it's in a similar-ish pattern. Got the higher lows going on, so that's a good sign. Lower lows, this is undecided at the moment. We get the break above that 370. Looking good for Kasama. You get the break under the 240, oh sorry, the 290 level, then it's probably got a little bit longer to hold out before it can start its move again. So those cryptos in that ecosystem, you're looking at Kasama and DOT, they'll probably move very similarly and you probably look at similar sorts of returns, potentially maybe a little more with Kasama because it's a lower market cap. But just know that because they're in the same space, they're probably going to move together. So you don't want to over leverage yourself in one particular space. It'd be like buying a whole ton of silver and gold, even though they move kind of similar. Just take one that's stronger and go with that as uh, as your trade. And if you're wanting to learn more about trading and investing in cryptocurrency, check out Patreon down below. It's a new month. We've got five going at the moment in the 49 bucks. Get those before they are gone and make sure you're on the free newsletter. Link to that is down below. As we open up a few more places, uh, you'll be able to jump on board with those as well. So the links to this are down below. Patreon, we are posting about our updates very regularly on there, myself and my brother, who's also got a YouTube channel. Check out the links down below. If you found some value from the content, like, share, and subscribe. You know all the good stuff down there to help out the channel. I'll see you guys at the next video. What was your altcoin suggestions? Let me hear from you guys in the comments down below. What would be your altcoins for October? Let's have a look at those and I'll see you at the next one. Until then, have more fun to get more done.